has been committed to having faculty in the residence halls for a number of years. And when I learned about it, I actually asked if I could be involved in this program and was told no because I'm not full faculty. My role on campus is more administrative even though I do teach. And I was a little irritated by that and my response was, well, let me know if you ever become desperate. Well, lo and behold, fast forward six years ago, I got a phone call out of the blue basically saying we're desperate. Uh, one of our faculty in residence has just decided to leave the position. It was right before school was starting. And I said, count me in. And the reason I wanted to do this is because I, I love being part of a community. I love being part of a community of young people. And as the Dean of Students, having a chance to live in a freshman residence hall like Gilbert Adams just gives me a chance, I think, to enhance my role administratively in understanding students and knowing what they're going through, just being a part of their day-to-day -day residential life. So this has been awesome. It's been probably the best thing I've done at Duke in the 45 years that I've been here. And um, this is year number six. I don't know how many more years I will be allowed to do it, uh, but right now I hope I get to do it for a number of years into the foreseeable future. The challenging part for me, and I don't know how other faculty and residents feel about this, but when I get back home every day, um, there's a part of me that wants to keep my door open. I want to be available and accessible to students. I want to be as engaged as I possibly can. And it's just not possible to always be available. And yet I, I want to be. So for me, the challenge is leaving my door open as much as I can and inviting students in as often as I possibly can. So I try to have a little bit of time every day when I'm available. As a faculty in residence, we're supposed to have a weekly program. Um, I sort of view mine as an open house. Um, I try to have really good snacks, really good food every week. I bake brownies every week. I think I've baked something like 267 batches of brownies since I've moved into GA, so I bake a lot of brownies. Um, and then I try to invite someone from Duke or from Durham into GA every Tuesday night. One of the deans, one of the directors of academic engagement, a librarian, a student leader, um, some personality at Duke or in the local Durham community that I think the students would benefit from meeting. And they come in, sometimes they may make a few remarks, but usually it's so crowded that all they can really do is just mix and mingle or try to answer students' individual questions. And everybody's invited. I have students who don't live in GA who come, and I have a number of GA alums who come every Tuesday night just to say hello, and I think they're really here for the snacks. I would say today, for whatever reason, my word of advice to students is to really do all that they can do to be compassionate towards themselves. That when they struggle, when they feel that they failed, when they've hit a speed bump in the road and things aren't going really well, I hope that they will treat themselves like they would treat a friend going through the same situation. And just be kind and loving and caring and supportive and not beat themselves up. Um, Self-compassion is a very, very interesting and important characteristic.